Hi, this is an hospital management system developed in C Sharp using 2015. So I'll show you how the buttons work. We can move last, we can move next, and we can move previous, move first, even delete records if we want to. So the next thing we have on the system is you can even search. Let's say we want to search for doctor number, maybe number eight. You can just search and that's the doctor number eight. As you can see his name is Brown Peters. Right. Let's search for doctor number one. Okay. So what I will do now is to take you guys straight into C sharp development environment where we will put one of these type of uh, hospital management system database together. So let's go into C sharp now. This tutorial will be about hospital management system. So let's click on new project. We already have a database in place that we're going to be using for this hospital management system and I think it's on my desktop here let's have a good look at it right here I think yeah there we go that's the database and within the database I also have a query that I'm going to be using here is the query that is known as appointment all right, I'm going to close that and we'll go straight into Visual Basic right now. So let's give it a name. We can just call it Hospital Management System. System. So that'll be the name. So click on that. Okay, now that's fine. Okay, now that the form is ready, the next thing I'm going to do now is uh, let me define the size of this form. Let's just call that approximately 3. 1368 by maybe 198. 698. Right. The next thing is let's go to data source right here. Select add new data source. Make sure the database is selected. Click on next and click on next again. And I'm gonna select my let's select new connection and um, browse for it. Let's right here on my desktop. Let's come to one speeder and select that. Get rid of the admin and as the settings here yeah, that succeed click on ok and click on next accept this because uh, it's only the message is all about saving the database into the project folder click on next and I'm gonna select both right here that will be the query and here I have the tables so that's fine click on finish there now the next thing we're gonna do is come straight to where it says appointment that is my database right there it's all there it's gonna be a huge system so I'm gonna drop this down let's drop it down and select details now drag all of that data right on board these are all the data a lot so let's move this down so that we can get all of the information that we need well first and first let's see if I can even take it up okay let's do this first try to see if we can break it apart this is one side of it here Let's put that right here. And the other part is this right here somewhere. 
here I think that might be all all right that's it that is all yeah okay move this somewhere here and let's just break this apart as well I think we seems to have quite a lot of data there I'll move it to the right Let's just undo, do that, undo the move. Right there, I think this will do it now. Okay, so I'm just going to sort of like speed up this. Uh, interface design then uh, I'll get back to you guys once that is completed yeah okay let's speed it up okay now this is how the program is looking so if I run it this is what you guys will see so the next thing is maybe we should enter a title there and a data grill right here. So let's do that now. We'll bring this down, come to the data source there, change this to data grid view and just drag that, drop it somewhere here. You can do that. And maybe we have some buttons right underneath here. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So let's get a label on board. Scroll right down to where the label is right there. And just enter as, as follows. Come to this property and write in there. Let's enter hospital management systems and change the font let's change the font to something readable pick that bold and 76 let's see what will happen that's a little bit too large I think It's a little bit too large. Let's reduce the size. Every 68 we do. Yeah. Okay, let's change the back color of that very object and just also change the that okay and click on it. Just tab it up a little bit. Just bring it all down because it's T too big. Yeah, it's T too big. Let's take it down a little bit more. Let's go for 60 right there. So that's much better. Okay. The next thing we do now is we are gonna need some search facility somewhere. So let me just copy that, move it, and just leave it right up there. Yep. And we also need we also need a button. Let's come to tools, get a button on board. In the first place. Let's get a combo box, yeah. Yeah, combo box, yeah. And we also need a button right here. So I'll just enhance those buttons and the combo box. 
Let's do that now. Take this up. Now that. This is our button here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So if we run it now, let's just run the program and see how it looks like. So this is how the C sharp program is looking now. So I think what I'll do is copy some of these buttons and just place them here. And um, I need to enhance this search system that I have in there. So if I double click on the form, right here where it says form load, we will enter the following lines of codes. I intend to be able to search using appointment ID, patient ID, doctor ID. I think we might be able to use some other ID to do this search. So let's see if we can have any other thing we can use here. Okay, let's close that and open up another one. Okay, so let's close that. Okay, I think we should be able to search by first name and last name. So I'm just going to copy that and close this one. Close this as well. And um, yeah, I think close this. So let's just place last name and first name there and just copy this. Or maybe copy this very one. Paste that in there. Enter first name there. Last name. Paste that in here. Yeah, and just get rid of this. And that is, that will be it. So we have five different search criteria. Let's go to the interface and see if there's any other one we can we can use. Let's come here and just go around. I have the doctor first name, last name, patient ID. Do I have that? Yeah, I do. And yeah, I think five search criteria that will do. All right, that's five is five. Okay, the next thing is to double click on this button. Oh, before then, let me just copy this button before I start my coding. I'm gonna need a couple of those anyway. Maybe about, there might be more, I don't know. Okay, double click on that and enter the following lines. Okay, we start by saying if let's say cmb search dot text equals let's go for the appointment id id okay all right then we need the name of that very database let's get the name right here that is it appointment binding source so that's it right here let me come to the property and just copy that appointment binding source let's copy it come into uh, the way the code is appointment binding source dot filter right there equals okay equals as follows all right so that is the first search so this, i can just copy this let me just copy that and go for the second one and the second one now is the patient let's copy that and just place the right in the patient id and change this to patient id as well now the next one will be doctor's id copy that we have doctor's id that will be for first name or last name so let's come in here copy doctor's id and paste doctor's id right here then followed by first name change this to first name and here first name and finally we want 
last name copy that come right down here that will be last name and this will be last name as well okay so if I let's just run it and see how it works now the program is running so let's check maybe we should try out the first name um, that's too simple let's let's check out the doctor's ID and let's say doctor's ID is maybe nine so that's the doctor's ID field there so let's check that out so you will click on search and there we go see that so we know the doctor who is uh, in charge of uh, on duty or whatever so let's say we want um, let's go for maybe doctor number three right there we know who doctor number three ID is okay the next thing I want to do now is to just uh, customize all of these my buttons and uh, we just wrap up the program so let's do that now I may have to just speed that up really okay this is how the the buttons are looking right now so we we'll just need to enter a couple of lines of course into them and that will be all so remember the name of the database so I'll just be calling each of the components according to the name of their buttons so if I double click on that I just enter that there so that will be dot I'll be and now we move last. Okay. Open and close parentheses. So the next one is dot move next. Dot move. Move next. Open and close parentheses. And follow by move previous. Enter the name of your database. Dot move previous right there open and close and then we also have dot move first double click paste that in the dot move to the first record now we need to delete dot delete so paste that in there that is remove current something like that remove current that right there and there, those are the simple lines of codes for moving next, last, previous, and move, remove current. And finally, the next one here is uh, exit. Uh, that will be application, application dot exit, open and close parentheses, and that is it. So if I run my program now so as you can see so let's give this a shot move last you see that we can move previous we can move next 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 okay we can move last next previous first we can even delete okay we're deleting so guys with that i'm going to call it the end of this program and um, I suppose you all enjoy it but just before that let's try out the exit yeah so with that i'll just call it the end of this program bye for now